Oh, the noodle! Daisy has put him in pillow jail. Huh. He doesn't seem mad about it. Yeah, it seems okay. Stay there. Stay. No, you gotta stay there. You're in pillow jail. Good morning, guys. It's a Saturday. Saturday is a special day. It's the day we get ready for Sunday. That's what I always say, to my dismay, in the month of May. Okay. Too much today? No. no. Okay. Um, April's. How you feeling? A little, I have a little, little cold. A little cold. The kids have. I know. Um, so today's home. our healing day. Yeah, we're just gonna hang out. And oh, now his pillow gel has been covered. Daisy, he's gonna start panicking. Noodle! Ella sees my running clothes on. I'll take you around the block once. I've been taking Ella around the block once. She doesn't get to go to long runs till these puppies are grown up. Oh, I missed it. Is that your favorite one? I don't know. They're both my favorite. You both the boys? The he loves the boys. His boys. Oh, nuggly little baby. Mom, can I have a puppy? No. Why? You didn't eat all your food. <laughs> she has a hard time eating her food, so that's what I've been rewarding her with when she's done. <laughs> if you get all your food in your tummy, then you can ask me. So this, I got a huge bowl of blackberries from our blackberry bush. And I almost had enough to do a double batch of jam. And then I realized I was like a cup and a half off. So I used a cup and a half of our grape juice from our grapevine. And so it's 90% blackberry, but it has a little hint of grape. So it's blackberry grape jelly and I'm gonna count it up. As soon as it gets boiling here, I'm gonna put the pectin in, boil it for a minute, and then can those suckers up. All right, guys, welcome to the vlog today. I thought it would be fun to show you some pumpkin, pumpkin pajamas. <laughs> okay, we're all here. We'll see how this goes. Noodle is probably time for a nap, I'm not gonna be honest. I'm not gonna be honest with what he said. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> what I was thinking was, we haven't been able to, you know, really connect with you guys. <laughs> because our comments are gone on YouTube. And Noodle is like, I miss you guys. <laughs> so we're going to... Some of you wanted to see him flow in his arm. Oh, he's going for the camera. We'll see what happens. So, April went on her Instagram and said, Guys, ask us some questions. We, You guys asked us questions on Instagram. Sorry, sorry if you don't have Instagram. That's the, our easiest way to connect with uh, the world right now. So, <laughs> here we go. Let's see how far we can get with the noodle. Alright, bye Frankie. It's nap time for the nudes. Say bye bye! Pure chaos when he's He screams whenever we turn on the camera. <laughs> okay, first question. Um, are you ever going to move? By Lara Lay Owen. I cannot remember that. Oh, Andrew, Andrew, what do you think? Hey. Andrew, do you think we're ever going to move? Houses. If you don't pick your house, we're going yeah. to video. Evie, do you think we're ever going to move houses? Where do you want to live? You don't like our house? What do you want okay. if we move to a different house? What would you want it to be? Um, a, a mansion. A mansion. A scary ride. A scary ride. <laughs> she wants to live in a scary ride. Where would you want to live, Edgar? A mansion. A mansion? A mansion. What about you, Daisy? Wait, no. Um, Why would you want to move? I wouldn't want to move. It would be devastating? Yeah. Why? Because only friends are here. Okay, what about you? I'd be fine with it. 
Wait, what if we moved like two to Yeah. I think you're living at Yeah. I think, I think, that, yeah. Yeah. I think that the older the, the kids down. get, it's harder to move areas yeah. because they get established in schools and friends. So my heart goes out to you if you ever had to have to move for reasons. I don't picture we're ever going to have to move, but we but anything could happen. Wait, I choose to live at Lagoon. She wants to live at Lagoon. Wait, no, no. Well, Disney World. Okay, we're Disney moving to World. Disney World. <laughs> Where would you want to move? Or why would you want to move? I would want to move. I would want to move if it was a house with a pool. I think that's the only me thing that too. could sway me. So, I mean, one day we'll either decide to put a pool in here, which would have to take out something in the yard, or maybe we would move. But we don't have any plans right now to move. Okay, next question. Oh, let's just have everybody answer this from Taylor Barnsley. What's your favorite thing about Davy? What's your favorite thing about Davy? Me. Um, when it's your birthday, he, he, you just get to pick out something for your birthday. Yeah, my birthday wants to yeah, like my under. birthday. Uh, but I do not use him to play. Yeah, he does play, huh? Nice. What about you, Daisy? He's hardworking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite thing about Dad? Uh, he's, he's funny. <laughs> hey, kids! <laughs> Most of the time. I would say my favorite thing about Davey is how awesome he is at everything. He's just really fun to be around. I would say he's, he's so, so cool. That's what I said. <laughs> okay, what do you say? Um, I love you. He, he's really funny and nice. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, next question. How are the puppies? How, yeah, a lot of questions about the puppies. Evie, stand right here. Come here. I need you to answer this question. Look at the camera. They want to know, how are the puppies doing? Um, they are doing good. No, talk to them. Tell them. They are doing good. Okay. They're doing great. Should we go get one? Yeah, yeah. Can I Can we go get it? Yeah. We're going to bring in the puppy. And some, some people have been asking, are we going to keep one of the puppies? So this is the puppy we are going to keep. She is so cute. Mm -hmm. She looked like a mini cow. Mom, can I hold born. it? So, of so, course. Mommy, can I hold one? Come sit down. Can I hold her up? Um, we named her... Something that is sweet, because mm -hmm. Nutella is Nutella. We have cocoa, which is chocolate, Nutella, Ella, mm -hmm. and, and cows make milk for chocolate. Mm -hmm. You are. So we named this one Cookies and Cream, and we're going to call her Cookie. Cookie. Or Cream. I wanted Rona, but nobody was into that. <laughs> so. Well, the reason why he wanted that is because this coloring on a Cocker Spaniel is called Blue Roan. R O A N. So it's kind of a play on words. And I was like, Rona, no. Corona. We're not doing that. Capturing Phoebe's turn. Does Zay have armpit hair? No, we're not going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I do. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. So we did a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse theme for the puppies. And then when this one came out, we thought she looked like a cow, so we called her Clarabelle. You, you do, uh, you name them all, and then when new people take them on, take them to their home, they give them a new name. Yeah, so, so we already gave her her new name again. When they get registered with the AKC, we, the, the litter, we name them a certain name, but that doesn't really matter, but it's just something fun to do. So this is Clarabelle <coughs> Cookies and Cream right now. Yes. Okay, next question from Marissa Lysette. So put this back. Why are your kids not doing homeschool? Oh, why are we not doing homeschool? Ambry actually wanted to do homeschool, but we said, Ambry, let's just give it a try. I know there's going to be a lot of restrictions. There's going to be masks. It's not. It may be way different, but let's give it a try. That's what my advice always to my kids is just try it first. And so far, I don't regret it because they have set it up so easily. Like, it's so easy to transfer between the two because they put everything on a website called Canvas. So... The kids, they can go to school, and if they're not feeling well, if they get a stuffy nose or a fever or something, we keep them home, and then they can just do their work on Canvas. So it's actually really cool. And another thing I'm going to say right now is, like, I don't feel like there's one right or wrong answer to this situation. I think every single family is going to have 
a different like personal revelation on what they should do for their family and some of that might be homeschool some of that might be go to public school some families might feel like okay we're just going to take a break for a few months and I think that's all fine like it's not and it's not really something that I think we should rip each other apart for and judge each other for but we decided that it's best to send our kids to school this year okay this question is from SJ Russell 91 which is the hardest age and stage of children to parent through? I would say they all have their ups and downs. That it's fun. All of it is fun and amazing. But there's it depends on where you're at, what situation you're at. Like Frankie, right? He's kind of hard all the time, but he's also the very cutest. Like he's just kind of like you can't <laughs> Don't say. Don't be offended. You guys are all the cutest. No, he's just a very cute stage right now. So cute, discovering things, but oh, yeah. a lot of things are really hard with him. It's a lot of work to have a baby, but it's a huge reward too. And I feel like that's what every stage. Like I feel like maybe it's hardest for me when they're about like six, seven, eight, because I feel like. Oh, you should know this. Sometimes I feel like sometimes I get a little bit like ahead of myself thinking that they're so big when really then I look back at pictures and I'm like, they're so little. So I'm starting to get better at that to where like I look back at pictures when you were like eight years old and I, I just remember being like, oh, you should be able to do this, you know? And then now I'm looking back and I'm like, he was so little. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of my hardest. I mean, I, I, I think a good, a uh, uh, nice uh, milestone, a good milestone in the cars is when they can buckle and unbuckle themselves and when they you can uh, zone them out by putting a movie on and yeah, they stop that's responding. All it, no, See, I, I feel like the babies are a little bit easier but and then like the older, like seven, eight year olds are a little harder but then I, you are opposite. So we kind of trade off, I've noticed. Because like well, and the other thing I was going to say is another thing in my head. I, I always feel like, Ender, stand up and get in the picture. It's, see, like this. I would like, you should know better. You should be sitting down over here like us. But he's so little still. I can tell he doesn't want ice cream but, tonight. It, it's no. fine. But here's the thing. I also have this, like, heaviness because I know that, like, we believe by eight they're old enough to understand right and wrong. So I always feel like there's a big, like, burden on my shoulders to make sure that they really do understand the difference between right and wrong and they have like a a good solid foundation on how to like judge for themselves what they should and shouldn't be doing. So I guess that's kind of another reason why I feel like that age is hard. Okay, quick question. Update on foreign exchange students. Ooh, and there was another question in here that said, will you be getting your exchange students you were planning on next year? Like instead of this year. One of them is already here. She went on exchange. She is actually near us. She's but like a 30 minute drive away. We were hoping to maybe get together with her one time. I don't know. We'll see if that actually happens. Hopefully it does. Uh, the other one did stay back. Uh, Pablo, what's his name? Paulo? Nacho. Nacho. <laughs> Pablo. <laughs> Nacho, we love you. Please don't listen Nacho's to me. Nacho's cool. <laughs> You you changed you mixed Paula with Nacho. Paula and Nacho. I made him one. Pablo. <laughs> Pablo Nacho. He is gonna shoot to come to our family next year, so hopefully that works out. Yeah. We're crossing our fingers. The state of Utah shut down <sighs> funding for exchange students, so it was up Which to the is individual so district. Larissa wanted to come here too, but they wouldn't let her come to Alpine School District if she was a senior. It's just against the So rules. she went to a different district where they did fund it and she's not a senior so. this year, but she will be next year, yeah. Yeah, so that's the thing. And even Paola was going to come visit us, and she wasn't able to. We were going to have three exchange students in our house at one time. It was going to be awesome. It was going to be a party. None, there's none now. No exchange students. So sad. Okay. A lot of questions about recipes. Sourdough, uh, cucumber salsa. I will tell you right now. On my Instagram, if you go to my bubble that says Yummy Recipes, it has... A lot of the ones you're asking about except for the sourdough I'm gonna tell you right now you need to follow at a vibrant life she I do everything exactly what she says so if you want to do my sourdough that's where I learned <coughs> it's her she has bubbles that show you how to make a start how to feed it how to make the bread 
and the videos are so helpful and there's no reason for me to make them again because she has done such a beautiful job. So just head over there for that. Okay, and we're gonna go through each of the kids. They wanna know what school is like, what, what restrictions you have, what are the pros and cons. We'll start with Zayden, junior high, or high, high school. school. What is high school like for you in Utah? Uh, we have to wear a mask and they, we sanitize a lot of the stuff, like the computers and such. That's good. What about, like, do you get out early? Yeah, school days are early out every day. So it only makes, like, a... It makes, it makes a difference. Yeah. My favorite place is Mexico. Oh, I love okay. Mexico. I want to go back. That's totally relevant. How about you? Daisy, Do you want to talk about swim team really quick, too? Because that's part of your school. What's swim team like? But my most it's favorite... Fun. It's been hard, but uh, I get better. What's hard about it? Swimming. It's just like exhausting. Yeah. Alright Daisy, junior high. So you have to wear a mask all the time except for lunch and there are X's on half the seats in the lunchroom so they let people sit in the hallways and outside. Oh, and you have to social distance. Yeah. Like need. every other seat? Yeah. So do you sit, do you go out or do you sit by every other seat? What I usually do? Um, sit outside. Not a lot of people sit on the, on the tables. Well, because they can't sit by their friend. Yeah. So then they go outside to sit by their friend. Yeah. It, it makes perfect sense. Like, they all wear masks all day and, or during inside, and then they'll go outside and play ball and tag and just, you know, it makes, it makes perfect sense to me. Yes. All the rules. So, Ambry, what's your <laughs> day like? Pretty much like, pretty much like Daisy, same thing? Yeah, we wash our hands a lot. We have to wear masks unless we're drinking a water bottle. Mm -hmm. And there's little smiley faces on the chairs at lunch. Hold on, question. On How do you eat food with your mask on? She takes it off. She takes it off to eat. I've asked the kids, like, they all have much shorter days. Would you rather have longer days and no masks or shorter days and masks? Longer days and no If you could choose. Longer I'm fine with the mask. Short day mask? You like longer that better? Longer days and masks. Wait, no, man. I mean... Zayd, are there any cute girls in your classes? Can't tell. Mm -hmm. Can't They're all tell. wearing masks. Yeah, I'm not mad about this either in high school and junior high. EB, she, they wash their hands a lot and they've learned all about coronavirus. They don't have to wear oh, a mask. I would know because I, 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 I just still recognize all the kids from middle school. Oh, you recognize them? Because 90% of the freshmen, 95% of the freshmen are from my middle school. So, and, and I, I could just recognize it with the mask anyway. Okay. So. My most favorite place is ClamorCon. Oh, Clamor yeah. ClamorCon. Thanks, well, Evie. Well, and I will say this, too. Evie's teacher is really good about social, like, their kids' class size is really small, so she can, like, spread out the desks and make everyone social distance and stuff. And she set it up in a way that it's a preschool. She set it up in a way that they didn't need to wear their masks because... They're three and four years old. They're not going to be... She said, I feel like it's going to cause more of a problem because they're going to be touching it and messing with it so much that it's going to actually cause more germs Ooh, than if they it. were just not wearing it. So I think it was a good call on her part because if you're not wearing a mask properly, you're actually doing a lot of harm. Like you're touching your face more than you normally would. Okay, this question mm -hmm. is for EB by Bethanel. How's Evie doing with her injections? How's poke day going for you? Good. Tell them right there, nice and loud. Good. Is it scary or not too bad? Not too bad because I get to watch a phone. She actually, I, we've been trying to help her eat less sugar, and I was explaining to her that it's not healthy for her body, and in order to get her body to fight the arthritis, she should eat healthy foods, and then... She ended up liking poke day so much that she said, I want to eat sugar so that I can get more pokes. She doesn't want to get rid of her arthritis. So that didn't go well. <laughs> Stop giving me the phone after you give her the poke because she doesn't no, hurt No, no. She has to get a poke. She can have my phone. But I said to her, if you get rid of your arthritis all the way, it goes away one day, then you'll be better and you can still watch my phone once a week. Yeah. We want to get rid of arthritis. Okay, yeah. next question. No, I don't. I know. We don't like arthritis. It's bad for us. Next question okay. by Steph plus fifteen. What's the cost <laughs> of you. What's the cost of living in Utah? Everyone has such big families. I think it's high. Um, Compared to what, though? 
Yeah, I mean, generally, I don't think it's super high here. The housing market is skyrocketing here, but I think that's kind of happening everywhere. I don't know. Well, no, not so much. I think it's going down in the places that the economy is struggling. Our economy in Utah is doing well. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, general cost, though, it's, it's good here. It's not too bad. Well, yeah, for example, that this exact house in California would probably be a thousand times more expensive. Yeah, millions of dollars. Um, and we're kind of out in the country, so it's a lot cheaper. The nice thing about Utah is there are really expensive places to live. Like, we have a really expensive place area to live that the houses cost a lot. But if you go out into the outer cities where it's a little bit more of a drive to get to the normal stores and stuff, you can get it for like a fourth of the price of the land and house. So yeah. there's a big variety in Utah. Thank you. The housing market is just part of the puzzle. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of big families here. And I think we have a state that really does favor families. So the tax breaks and stuff are good, I think. I don't know. It's it is expensive to have a big family, but you know what? There's one thing that we've never done. We've never worried about money when it comes to if we were supposed to have kids or when we were supposed to have kids or how many kids. It was never really part of the equation. We just had faith that it would be fine, and it always has been. And we worked hard, and like that part, that part of it was never a stress for me. I always just knew that we would make ends meet, whatever it took, and... And we, don't you think? Like, I, I think a lot of people overthink that. I know you should, like, we thought about it. Obviously, if we were, like, in a horrible situation, maybe I would have thought more about it. But we were never in a really tough spot. Because when we got married, I was already working as my own boss at a salon and making decent money. And I just knew that we could make it work. So Good. we've been very blessed with that. Okay, next question. I saw this earlier. I don't know who said it, but they want to, each of the kids, as of right now, if you had to pick your future job, what would it be if you had to pick right now? What would it be? As of 2020, movie? what would you pick? It would be writing books. Well, an author. author. Ender wants to be an author, author right now with my current Wait, they, 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 Yeah, with what you know right uh, now. Uh, I would be a lawyer. Um, I like that. You actually could argue your way out of anything. I really think <laughs> you would do amazing at that. Mm, that's good. Okay, Daisy. No, really? What would that's you do? Amazing. Mm. I don't know. Let me think about it. You got five Bye. seconds to pick your future career. Five, four, three, two, one. A model. Okay. Okay, yeah, but you're up. Here's that. Um, when I grow up, I want to <laughs> be a doctor or nurse. Oh, a nurse? Ooh, you would be. Oh. A oh nurse. My goodness, I could actually see nurse. her being so good at that. You are such a nurturer. Doctor or a nurse. Nurses do a lot more good in nurturing. I can picture you being a great nurse, but you could be a doctor too. Yeah, nurse. If you're a nurse first, I then a doctor. And say it's good. <laughs> That's not true. The school nurse does that. EB, what would you do for a job if you had to pick right now? What would you do? Like a, a kid gets possessed by a demon. I would and be a school nurse. And she says, "Have some ice." What would you do for to make money if you had to do it right now? Any job. Sell toys. Ooh, a toy seller. Toy person. seller. Then you get to play with the toys too. That's huh? a good idea. Okay, favorite candy from Harshita Marpali. <coughs> You can tell we have little colds right now. Okay, my favorite candy is Laffy Taffy, the real ones, not the baby ones. What about you? What's your favorite candy? Um, those cow treats. Cow treats. Cow tails. Cow what tails. Are those? Hershey's. Hershey's. Um, I'm gonna say those uh, Charleston Chew Rollers. They're so good. They're like little balls. Oh my gosh. Those are like. So good. So good. Okay, what's your favorite candy, Zade? Uh, still Mike and Ike's. Mike and Ike's, the classic. Dots. Daisy? Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dots. Okay. That's an ice cream. Ice cream. But the candy. It's candy. No, 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 that's a treat. I said Five, candy. Chocolate. Anything, chocolate. Anything chocolate. Yeah. Anything chocolate. And there, what's yours? Except dark. Mm, Bit of honey. Ooh, that's a good one. Bit of honey, I like it. 
Okay, does Zayd have a girlfriend? No. Nope. Nope. Pardon Shingle is Pringle in the West. The single is Pringle in the West. Heard it here first. Single so Pringle. Comfortable shoes. You know what? I actually really like those soles that I got. They're like handmade leathers. They're so soft. They're super comfy. And I love them. Where can we find the new running book? <gasps> Swipe up. So in the description, Davey will put a link. He has spent a lot of time developing this video series type ebook. I guess you can call it ebook, but it's more of a video series. And all right, so you can go to the description right now and there's going to be a link to Davey's video series for running and there's a discount code for 10% off. It's run, just R-U-N. The first 100 people are going to get the discount. Didn't you set like a hundred mark yep, for it? Yeah, hundred. So that code can that. only be used a hundred times. I'm not sure where it's at by the time this video goes up, but if it's already been run out, he will reset it again and give you guys the chance to get the discount too if you're interested. Basically, it's chock full of knowledge that you need to know if you are wanting to start running, if you think you can't do it because, oh my, I have bad knees. That used to be my story. That used to be his story. There's so much good knowledge in there to teach you what you're doing wrong, how to fix it, and how to actually enjoy running. And it is so good, you guys. I'm a believer because I used to hate running. I used to be like tell myself I couldn't do it because my knees were bad, and now I love it, and I do it like two or three times a week. And I've even done a half marathon, full marathon, several halves actually, and I think it's so good for you. It's so good for your heart, so good for your body. So good for your mind, so good for your spirit. It's like so therapeutic, and I promise you, it will help you have better thoughts. And too. it's a running book for to take you up a level from wherever you're at. If you do nothing, if you want to lose a hundred pounds or whatever it is, somebody asked me if I, I'm not I'm an advanced runner. Is it for me? I was like, hundred percent. Wherever you're at, it's to take you to the next level. Yeah. Wherever you're at. Yep. Unless you're like an Olympian and you want to break. The world record. Okay, it's if you're that, like way up here, a, like a better runner than Davey, maybe it's you would think it's, But even then, I think that they'd be like, oh, that's good advice. I didn't even think about that. Maybe. maybe. Who knows? Okay, <laughs> Zade, how has the transition been from junior high to high school? Zade is in ninth grade, but it is part of the high school. How has the transition been? Um, it's it's been better than middle school. Um. If I if if we're just like closing up with silent reading or something and whatever, I can I, I could just leave class and the teachers don't really care if it's something I don't really need to be there for. A little more freedom. They yeah. trust you. Trust you guys a little more. There's, cool. there's more freedom. Cool. And Daisy, how has the transition been from elementary school to junior high? It's definitely a lot more interesting than sixth grade because you like have to get to class in less than five minutes, and I was almost tardy because my locker is on the NB hall while my, all my other classes are in D. Did you go talk to them about that? Solution, don't have a locker. Don't use your Solution, locker. Solution, ask the office to move your locker somewhere closer. They have a bunch of empty ones. You just have to tell them where you want it to be. Okay. And four classes a day instead of one. It's a lot less of... Um, does it go faster? Is that what you're saying? I forgot what it's A lot was. less. What? Okay, guys. That does it. Thank you all. If you were on Instagram and submitted questions, thanks to the kids for to participating. I know this isn't the funnest thing to do, but it's a good way to have direct contact with you guys out there. You guys... Oh, man. I had so much fun. Good. <laughs> I had fun, too. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate you guys. And don't forget... All this COVID stuff, we're going to get through it. Hang in there. I know there's a lot of people going through a lot of hard times. But thumbs it up, Brett. <laughs> just thumbs up and hang in there. Things, this too shall pass. We'll and get you can find this. the good in this too, you guys. I hope you are finding good in everything. Keep on going. And we're going to do a podcast in the next couple days where we talk about this a little bit more. But It's happening. Okay, find good in everything. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya.